It's flip a time, flip a time, flip a flip a flip a time, flip a time, flip a tea time, flip a tea is on y'all. Hi, flippers and flippets. This is the girl Flip a Tea. That's me. How's everyone doing tonight? Tonight, flippers and flippets, I really appreciate you flipping back to my flipping channel. Today, flippers and flippets, we're gonna eat flipping barbecue. I got barbecue from a place called Risky's. It wasn't my plan to do barbecue, but I had to go somewhere after work and um, I was hungry. So, well, and I've only had this once or twice. So I'm really not sure what it tastes like. But this is the ribs. I got me some ribs, some Green beans, I like I'm always eating green beans, but I like my green beans. I like my green beans. So I got green beans. Everything in Texas comes with Texas toast. Should have told them to toast both sides had I known that. Got me some potato salad. Potato salad. I haven't had potato salad since no uh, Thanksgiving. <coughs> anyway, I'm gonna slip in the sun a little more comfortable. I'll be right back. There we go. There we go. I think I'm going to pour the barbecue sauce on the ribs. I didn't know the barbecue sauce didn't come on the ribs. So I would have, they probably don't put it on there. I was going to say I would have asked them to put it on, but apparently it's not something that comes on the ribs. So I got barbecue sauce on the side. Let me taste the potato salad. Don't look bad. I probably make mine better, but green beans got onion in it and ham. Hmm. Tastes like it got butter in it too. Need a little salt, but. I don't be trying to eat that extra salt anyway, so I probably won't add any. The ribs, hope they tender. Oh, tender. I really wish the sauce would have came on them, but maybe they think everybody don't want the sauce on them. I don't know. I don't know. Sauce kind of cold, so you know how you, I should have heated. Maybe I heat up with the. With the sauce. The sauce like it's cold. I keep it in the refrigerator. Damn. I didn't know that. Let me taste it. Might be complaining for no reason. I think there's always a reason, but. I'm gonna heat it up. I wish I'd have known that. I would have heated it up first. It was kind of getting ready to close. It was 8 o'clock when I pulled up. They closed at 8 30, so they probably had put everything away. I'm assuming I don't know. I think I got a hunk of fat. Let me heat it up for a few minutes. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. Didn't know I had to do that, but well, you know cold ribs. Give you onion and pickles with everything.
So, while my ribs heat up, what did y'all do today? How was your day? Did you have Taco Tuesday? I had Taco Tuesday for lunch. I was going to go get Chinese with my daughter. But we get over there. It's Hong Kong Express. We get over there and they were closed. It looks like they closed on Mondays. So I just went and got uh, tacos from Taco Casa. So many taco places here in Texas too. Let me get my food because I didn't want to heat it up too long. Let me give it 30 more seconds. Okay, be right back. Okay, go on, still eating. Oh, you ate all your food. Please. I think that's a lot better. We should have heated it up before I put the barbecue sauce on it. But the barbecue sauce is what was cold. Mm. I might have it too hot. What you think? You can see it smoking. Dang. Now I probably can't eat it because it's too hot. Hey. Okay, now I'm gonna have to be uh I'm gonna have to eat it with a knife and a fork. Nobody got time to sit and wait for it to cool. Mm. That's a lot better. Why they give them to me so cold? Probably because they get ready to shut out. Well, they taste seem like they good, pretty good. I guess they only had them once, but they have a stockyard here, and it's like a tourist attraction in Fort Worth. And this same barbecue place is in the stockyard, Risky's Barbecue. I'm sure that's it because I only went to the stockyard where we get out the car maybe once or twice. But I'm sure this is in the stockyard. There! I got it too hot. I'd rather have it hot than cold. Oh, I was saying, they give you pickles and onion with all your barbecue here in Texas. You can go get a sandwich and they give you pickles and onion. I guess the lesson you don't request it and you say don't give it to me. Pickles and onion with barbecue. I got some finger smacking food. Good, but still, like got a lot of fat on it. Maybe I'm wrong, but seems to me like you got a lot of fat. I'm 
I'm not a big rib eater, but I got the pork rib. It's like a lot of fat or brisket or bristle. Okay, we'll say I'll eat it. Look, I can't do a whole lot of talking. My mouth is full. <clears throat> I know this movie is old, but I went to get my nails taken off after work today. And a movie was playing at the salon that I really got into. And it was uh, The Notebook. How many of y'all love The Notebook? It's so romantic, I think. I want to stay at the salon and finish watching it. I've seen it once before. But that is a true love story. If I wasn't hungry, I would have stayed at the salon and watched it. I was wondering if they get back together at the end. But I guess they did. Seeing how that was her that had dementia. And him reading to her. I guess that kind of told the story right there, huh? Like I'm throwing down. These ribs are smack delicious. Good. Can you help us smack? Meat came right off of the bone. But <clears throat> you won't hear me talk about getting some ribs again for a while. Mm -mm. This ain't nothing I like to eat on a regular basis. I get tired of them chicken salads. I don't be knowing what to eat. I don't like to do fried. I'm tired of baked. I, want some, I think I'm going to do me a seafood boil this weekend. I was gonna do that today actually, but Albertson, where I get my seafood from, they didn't have the seasoning that they use, they didn't have a bag to put the seafood in. 
They didn't have a lot of stuff. So I said, well, maybe they'll be restocked by the weekend. I said, I'll wait and come back so I can have it like I want it. Everybody can't make good potato salad. I ate it, of course, but it really wasn't that good. You know, everybody cooks different, right? Texas, they barbecue. In a lot of places. Um, I think on the street, I seen it when I first came here in 2014. I got some barbecue on the south side of the Fort Worth. And this guy smoked it. And when I opened it up, it was so black, I thought it was burned. Because so I didn't look at it when I, so I got to the house where I was staying. He said, no, that's the way they smoke it. You may smoke it on the smoker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. <clears throat> said the man smoke it on the smoker. And it really got it black. So I really thought it was burned. But anyway, in Michigan, anybody I know, in my family, that barbecue, we put, we get a bottle. You can get any bottle, like a water bottle, had empty had water in it, a pop bottle, and empty it out, you know, empty it. And then you will put about that much water in the bottle, about that much vinegar in the bottle, like the white, the steel vinegar. It could be any vinegar. Then you put your seasons in the bottle, your seasoning salt, your garlic powder, garlic salt, whatever you want to put, your lemon pepper. You poke, excuse me, poke holes in the top, shake it up. And uh, as your barbecue start to cook, your ribs, your pork chop, your, I guess steak too, I'm not sure about the steak, but your ribs, your pork chop, your chicken, as it cooks, sprinkle that on it, that seasoning bottle on it. You know, when you turn it over, you sprinkle that on it. Everybody, I know their barbecue, that's how we do it in Michigan. I told people about that here in Texas. And they like, mm -hmm. I can understand them doing that uh, for tenderness, you know. But why would you do that? I don't know. Years ago, my mother friend used to barbecue. I'm for sure he did that. And my brothers grew up doing that as far as I know. I did it when I was barbecue. If I barbecue today, I do that. It gives it a um that vinegar give it a good taste. I know it helps tenderize it too, but it also gives it a good taste. I'm about through eating this y'all. Oh the onions don't give me heartburn. I ate my bread all up, but I sure could use a piece right now. But I don't want a whole piece. If I hurry up and get through eating, I might catch the garbage man. You got the valet garbage where you sit your bag outside the door. And the trash people pick it up. 
I have this gonna be lunch. Probably not all my lunch, but I'm through for now. I want some more of this barbecue sauce because it's good. Probably have to go buy a barbecue sauce to eat that. Look good, but it's okay. Now, like I said, it'll be a long time. Long time before I get some more barbecue. I was telling y'all the story about Riri, but Riri the fast tail. I say it might not be appropriate. It might not be appropriate for people. You know, some of the viewers. Uh, I'm not sure who all views my page, but. You know, I guess I do have a granddaughter, and maybe I, I decided I won't tell y'all about Riri. I might tell you about it at a later day, but I can clean the story up a bit. But, uh, Riri was just, she turned 13 and, and lost a little weight and lost her chain. Lost her mind, I'm sorry. Lost, she's off the chain. Lost her damn mind. So, I'm going to have to clean the story up a little bit. Make it more kid friendly because Riri was a little trifling after she turned 13 and lost about 30 pounds that summer. She was kind of feeling herself and letting a lot of other people feel her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, I don't think it's appropriate, um, you know, for me to tell the story as it is. Oh, that's the name of the Riskies in Fort Worth, Texas. I just got water in my cup. It came with a combo and it came with a drink. But I told the lady, I don't drink pop. <clears throat> I wanted a bottle of water. I guess I couldn't get it or they didn't have it. I don't know. She handed me a cup. I said, well, I don't really want it. I said, well, I guess I'm paying for it. I just take the cup home. So I just got some ice in the cup and came home put me some water in my cup. I don't remember the last time I drank pop. It's been a long time. I always have a hard time digesting it. I have to burp like a baby. I'll be like, Ugh. Ugh. I have to pat myself like a baby when I drink pop. It's like the carbon be like right up in here with me. Like I can't get it down. So I just quit drinking. Or I used to shake it up. If I had a bottle pop, I would shake it up. And I say pop for people that's in the South. I mean soda. In Michigan, we say pop. I'm in Texas now, so it's soda. But I still call it pop. But I don't drink soda or pop, so it don't even matter for me. But I would always shake it up. Uh, shake it up to get the fear, like the fears out. Only oh, I forgot this thing. Only way I could drink it. I'm all over the place with conversation. The lady at work asked me, did I see the stylist that came with the work phone? We have a work phone that um, we, we, we rotate being on call every week. So she was like, what is stylus? She noticed it was missing from the bottom of the phone. I'm like, girl, I don't know what you're talking about. She said it was a stylus that came with the phone. I said, you know, I seen something yellow on my kitchen floor. I said, I thought it was the grandbabies. Something that she might have had. I thought it was the ink pen, really, but I thought it was something that the grandbaby had. So anyway, I said, let me call my daughter and see if it's at home. So I called my daughter, and uh, it was here. So this is the stylus. I got to remember to put it in my purse. Why? Why you can push the top down? What the hell? I don't know nothing about this thing. Well, she said she think this is it. And it came right with it. 
Oh, I'm so dumb. I know you can't write with a stylus. I was just saying that because of the little point on it. I don't understand why the top pushes down and go in and go out. If you can't write with it, what's the purpose of the top going in and out? It doesn't. The point don't go in. Tango, come here. Come on. You're making noise on my video again today. I'm going to take you outside. Anyway. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, little Riri lost 30 pounds. Little Riri tail got so fast. You know, her, her mother was working all the time, and she was kind of, had a lot of time on her hands. Even though she had a lot of sisters and brothers, little Riri was just kind of doing what Riri wanted to do. So she was, uh, she lost 30 pounds and was feeling herself. And like I said, other people was feeling her too. <laughs> so I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And uh, next time I talk to you guys, I will tell you more of Riri and how she uh, just went buck wild. So anyway, flippers and flippets, this is your girl Flipper T. That's me. Thank you for flipping into my flipping channel. Don't forget to flip, in, flip back to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Uh, hit, the gray, hit the bell and turn it gray. So when you hear me, I mean, I'm sorry, so when you see my you know, my name, Flipper T, when you see me upload a video or doing a live video, feel free to flip on in because I like to flip and talk to everybody on my flipping channel. So thank you, Flippers and flippers that Flippers and Flippettes, for flipping into my flipping channel. I can't flip and talk. What the hell?